it's really it's really white Ooh. well I've been here before hey guys it's Tina here welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be trying a whole bunch of new Korean skincare and makeup For today's video, I'm partnering up with Korea's number one beauty retailer and health store, Olive Young. Now, if you guys have ever visited South Korea, you would have definitely come across an Olive Young store. They have them everywhere. And personally, whenever I'm there, I spend like half my trip in Olive Young stores looking at K-beauty products. Now, Olive Young has just launched their global website so we can now get our favorite Korean beauty brands online. So here is the Olive Young Global website. This is the one-stop shop for all your K-beauty needs. Here they stock the latest skincare, makeup, beauty, and hair care at affordable prices. On here they have monthly promotions and new users can score a 10% off coupon when they sign up online. They also offer free shipping if you spend over $50 and that's worldwide shipping. To stay updated with the latest promotions and products, you can check out Olive Young's Facebook and Instagram. For today's video, I may have gone a little bit crazy with my online shopping, but I'm super excited to try all these goodies because some of them I did see when I was in Korea, but I didn't buy it because I didn't have enough luggage space. So here we are today. I'm gonna get started with skincare first. I'm going to cleanse my face with the Artemisia pH Balance Cleansing Foam. This is from a brand called Bring Green. I ran out of my old cleanser, so I've been looking for a new cleanser. And I read that this one, um, this one's quite soothing on the skin and it helps to purify and just draw any of the, the waste and debris. It does have a slightly green tinge to it. So I just wet my face. I'm just gonna apply that on first. Oh, and I bought this guy. This is a pore cleansing brush. It has two types of bristles on it. One side is longer and the other one has these silicone bristles to help exfoliate your skin. Back in the day when I was a beauty therapist, we used to use a bristle like this, but it was electronic, so it would rotate on its own. But I really like these bristles because they're really soft on the skin. And so I'm just using this and circular motions to lather this cleanser in. And then I'm going to switch to the other side and just use that to exfoliate. So with this cleanser, apparently your skin does not feel tight afterwards because it's pH balanced. So we shall see when I wash this off. Okay, so I just rinsed that off. My skin is feeling a lot better. It feels squeaky clean. There's no tight feeling. It doesn't feel dry or anything. I think combined with the pore brush, it's actually really good. Not bad. Let's move on to the next step. I got this green tangerine Vita C toner pad. When I was in Korea last time, the girl at the store recommended that I get this, but I didn't have enough luggage space, so I didn't get it. But this one is really good for removing impurities that your cleanser may have missed. It helps to tone the skin and gives the skin a boost of radiance. The fruit acids also helps to give your skin a gentle exfoliation. And when I got this, it actually came in a pack of two and it had like an extra little carry case, which I love because I travel a lot and this is pretty heavy to carry with me. And so you can downsize it. So to use this, you just grab one pad out. There's a smooth side and a more textured side. So you use the smooth side first. It has like a nice scent to it. It's actually not really strong, the fragrance. All over my face, down my neck as well. And then turn it over and then use the other side, which will give your skin a little bit of an exfoliation, but it's really gentle. And then what I like to do is do my back as well because I have some like acne scars and spots there. So I'm just gonna do my back. Next, I'm going to apply a serum mask. This is the Abib Gummy Sheet Mask Heart Leaf Sticker. And I read online that this is supposed to have a better fit than other sheet masks. It's supposed to you know, cover all areas, so we shall see. 
Um, in terms of the ingredients in this, it's supposed to purify your skin as well as help manage your like oil control. Now, ever since I got my makeover done by Park and Sun, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, um, go check it out. They used a sheet mask on me before the makeup application and it made such a big difference. And so whenever I have time, I've been trying to do that as well. So I'm just gonna pop that on. There is so much serum in this mask. It is crazy. I'm just gonna like not waste it and put it all over my arms. I am a little bit disappointed because I thought it would be like a gummy texture. Oh, I'm eating it. But the serum is quite um, jello-like. The holes in this mask are so small, my top lip is getting covered. But I guess they're right. All areas are pretty much covered. So I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and I'll be back. <laughs> All these lines at the bottom are starting to make me look old. But that's just because the mask is drying out. So I'm gonna take it off now. Woo. Look how much serum is left on my skin. Wow. So if you have time, you can wait until the rest of the serum absorbs into your skin. Otherwise, you can just grab a tissue and just blot it back. Next up, I'm going to apply a cushion sunscreen. This one's called Oxygen Water Tone Up Sunscreen. It has an SPF of 50 plus. Now, I've never used a sun cushion before, but I guess it's just like sunscreen in a little compact. I thought I would try it out. This one has some brightening effects, as well as the oxygen water, it comes from Jeju Island, so that's supposed to be soothing for your skin. So it comes with a little pad, and instead of having foundation in here, it's sunscreen. Ooh. Wow, it's really, it's really white. I guess it did say tone up. Hmm. Well, I've been here before. I think if I just work it in, the white cast will go away. That's better. Just had to give it some time. I was freaking out a little bit though. I guess the good thing about using like a sun cushion like this is you cover all the areas where sometimes, you know, I just apply my sunscreen and I'm just like la-di-da-di-da -da, and then sometimes I can miss some spots. Okay, so I think I am done with skincare. We are ready to move on to makeup. Where's that primer that I brought? Here, I'm gonna try out this new one. This is the Clear Pre-Step Pore Primer. It has a tinge of color to it and this is gonna help fill in my pores and make sure I have a smooth canvas for my foundation. So I'm just gonna use the tiniest bit and focus it around the areas where I have larger pores and that's like the center of my face and then my chin as well. For my base, I'm trying out this new cushion foundation. This is the Panthenol Ampoule Cushion from Botanic Heal. I got shade number two. So let us hope that this matches or is somewhat close to my skin tone. So I bought this one because it contains panthenol, which is I think derived from vitamin B5, which is known to help soothe your skin. I've just been opting for products that are good for sensitive skin ever since I had like a bit of an allergic reaction to my eyelash serum. My under eyes went really dark and I was just like freaking out. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna stick with sensitive skin products. Hmm, the color's not bad. Probably thanks to that sunscreen, it did make my skin brighter. So the coverage on this is supposed to be quite good. It's gonna have more of like a natural dewy finish. It's more hydrating. And oh yeah, in the pack it came with a refill as well, so that's good. Next, I'm going to conceal. I'm gonna try out the Luna Long Lasting Mild Concealer. Just gonna pop a couple of dots under my eyes. I know, my nostrils. I feel like that cushion foundation had pretty good coverage, so I don't need too much concealer. And then I'm just gonna blend it in with this puff. I also got this one from Olive Young, and I feel like it's a good dupe for um, the Real Techniques puff. Now to set my base, I'm going to use this Luna Pro Mild Finisher. I saw that this pressed powder has half green and half white powder in the compact. This is because it contains tea tree, so it's actually going to absorb any excess sebum, and apparently it makes your pores disappear. 
So there's a puff at the bottom of the compact. So I'm just going to use that to press it against my base. Mm. Can you guys see the difference? Wow, this side is still pretty textured and bumpy, especially here. And then this side, I don't got no pores. I just wish the puff had that little ribbon so I can slot my fingers in the back. Next up, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I got three different shades of these Kill Brow pencils by Clio. I think I'm going to use like these two for my brows. So I got shade, where is the number? One and two, natural brown and light brown. I'm going to go with light brown first. And I don't know if you guys noticed or if you've seen that video where I laminated my brows, but this is what they're looking like now with no product in them. I mean, it kind of looks crazy and wild, but I look like I have so much more hair. So I'm just going to give my brows a quick brush using the spoolie at the end of the pencil. So I'm just going to go in with this pencil and just fill in my brows lightly. Oh, my brows are crazy. Whoa, what did I just do to my brow? I, I need to fix this. I think I went too crazy. This is the first time I filled in my newly permed brows, so I'm not quite used to this. I'm just going to grab a bit of that concealer, that Luna one, and then clean up underneath. Okay, I think I fixed it or made it a little bit better. I'm just so not used to seeing myself with such big brows. Let me just quickly do this side. Okay, both brows are under control. I am ready to move on to the next step, which is eyes. I'm actually going to apply a cream blusher. This one is from Piripera. It's number seven, Cozy Creamy Rose. And I'm actually gonna use this as an eye base because I'm going to apply glitter on top and I want something a little bit tacky for the glitter to stick onto. So I'm just gonna pop a light wash of that color onto my eyes. Gonna keep it fairly soft I'm gonna put some on my lower lashes as well and then I got these two glitter colors from Colorgram it's called Tok there's a pinkier shade and a more golden bronzy shade I feel like glitter is super in at the moment especially in Korea as well everyone is applying glitter on their eyes and so I'm gonna do the same. I'm applying the pinkier shade. And I'm just tapping that on. I just popped on some contact lenses before I moved on with the rest of my eye makeup. Now I'm going to line my eyes um, with the Clio Slim Tech pencil liners. I got both brown and black. So I'm going to use the same technique that Sun used on me with liner. He used the brown liner first and then he laid the black on top. So I'm going to do that. So that's my liner done. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to curl them well, I'm going to try to curl them really well because I'm just going to apply mascara today. <sighs> I forgot to clean my curler. All is well. I'm going to curl my lower lashes as well. It always looks so scary. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Kill cool Lash Superproof Mascara. This is the Volume Curling Formula from Clio. There was a buy one, get one free deal on Olive Young, so I ended up with two of these. Wow, look at my lashes. Look at my lower lashes. I feel like I've got more hairs down there than up here. I absolutely love how my lashes are looking. I love this mascara. This is probably like one of the best mascaras I've used. I had no lashes before and now I have these. Now I'm going to add some blush on. I'm going to use that same cream blush that I use. I'm just going to use a sponge to apply it on this time. I'm going to apply it quite high up.
For lips, I got this pack from Rom and this is the Cool Tone Pack. So inside you get four mini versions of their lip products. You get two mini lipsticks, a liquid lipstick and a juicy lasting tint. I'm going to use the mini lipsticks. This shade is number 10. And then I'm going to go in with shade number 7. I'm going to pop that in the center. So I am done with my makeup and this is the final look. What do you guys think? I feel like I look really different because I normally don't do my makeup like this. For my eyes, I usually opt for something smokier and then I always put on false lashes. Plus I contour, highlight and all that jazz. But today, I am a new me. Now if I should choose my top like four products that I use today, I would choose... Oh, it's a hard one. Okay, definitely. The mascara, I love, love, love this. One of the best mascaras I've used on my tiny lashes. I really like the vitamin C pads and I love that it came in a little travel pack so then I can just pack this when I'm on the go. The Luna powder is also really good, especially for those of you who have more like oily or combination skin type. If you wanna hide your pores, if you just wanna look flawless, this is really good. I feel like I always opt for translucent powders, but yeah, this one, Thumbs up for me. I also really liked the glitters. Oh, and I have to say, I really like these mini um, lipsticks. I just love that they're so small because I have never finished a lipstick ever. So I feel like those would be my top products. Oh, but that's so hard because I really liked the liners as well. Okay, that's it. Those would be my top products, but I will list everything I use in today's video in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. Anyways, that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Please just click that button. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!